So today is such an exciting day. Not only are we celebrating Pentecost, but we also are celebrating the Queen's 70th Jubilee. It's going to be pretty amazing. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Rev Dan. I am a ricker in the Church of England. You are following me around and today is such a special day. I'm here at one of my churches, Holy Trinity in Sea Green, to do the eight o'clock service, the BCP, but Book of Common Prayer communion service. Uh, and then later I'm back down to my other church in Chelfant St Giles to do the communion down there. And we're celebrating Pentecost. And then at 12 o'clock, uh, uh, we're, we're leading a short, short service uh, to start off the celebrations for our street party in Chelfant St Giles. So the biggest thing that we're, we're talking about and, and, and whether apps have never been checked so much is, is it gonna rain because um, it's, it's just it's, oh, it's such a shame because like after the coronavirus and all the lockdowns and people not really coming now it's you know the whole nation's coming together to have street parties and and they've been having an all weekend we've had two bank holidays Thursday Friday and then we had Saturday uh, and now we've got Sunday our street parties today the road is closed and so many people are closing their roads and having street parties but it's is it going to rain uh, and it keeps shifting honestly the, the, the weather is, is just shifting so we'll see how that is a bit later because we really don't know but I'm going to go in this church and, and, and do a uh, uh, our communion uh, it's early uh, today I woke early to get all the, all the sermon done uh, it's gonna be a long day it's gonna be an exciting exciting day uh, and you'll join me as we are going around doing different things and and, and, and hopefully being amongst the street party with no rate that'd be a good thing so that's it first service over which is absolutely fantastic celebrating Pentecost uh, tip of the hat to the Jubilee um, a good few people there actually the eight o'clock service uh it's it's the old english language um book of common prayer as i said before communion and it's very special sometimes it's a bit hard to read you can trip over your words so you have to be careful uh, so i'm in the car because i'm just waiting there's people training on horses just down there so i'm um i'm riding so i'm just waiting for them to move so i am um, just now i'm going to go off back home get ready for uh, the other church service and, and and you'll see a bit of that and then going out so yeah i feel like oh, it's pentecost you know it's pentecost oh, i love pentecost <laughs> i love pentecost services uh, really um you know really encouraging the faithful so uh, let's go uh 10 o'clock service in chapel st giles so we're about uh less than 15 minutes on the service and <laughs> we're rushing around a bit because uh communion isn't set up and i forgot the, the keys for the safe and uh and everyone isn't here yet because the roads are being closed for the street party so it's a bit quiet so hopefully we'll get a good amount of people here so <laughs> the bells have just started ringing for um for calling people to worship and the choir out the back uh rehearsing and i'm getting ready so i need to go get my robes on and go get communion set up and uh well let's enjoy the service when we receive god and the holy spirit in our lives he wants to come and live in a cottage you know, by a stream with a little well, beautiful lawn, lovely flowers. And God's like, no, I don't want to live in a little cottage. I want to live in a palace. But we're broken, rackety old rats, aren't we? A little shed. And what he does, he comes into our lives and he builds in us a palace and he puts up walls and he knocks down things and sometimes those things hurt and sometimes we think, this is great because God is going to come and dwell in us for people to see for people to see his glory it's not for, in a sense our glory it's to, to point people to god because when people know me as that kind of rackety or rack people say god damn you've changed look at you you're you're you know different you're glowing you're confident i say yeah because that's what god has done in my life so we just finished the service, which is amazing. The, the choir are practicing for um, the um, singing the song out on the green in just uh, less than half an hour. Uh, and this is a Queen's Jubilee song. Um, I've been find out, uh, filming on my camera this morning, so I'm gonna. This is my camera here and my setup for because this afternoon. So we're gonna swap over now, and I'm gonna start speaking into this one. And um, 
we're going to go out to the green, we're going to start, so start the, the celebration for this afternoon and we get some uh, kind of what the atmosphere is and I've charged the church earlier on in my sermon to get out there, uh, it's, it's Pentecost and to live out our faith, our calling and engage with our community. Let's not stay inside, let's get outside and uh, proclaim the good news. So we, with Jacob and this camera, which camera, that camera, this camera, that camera, are going to go outside. See you in a bit. So we are out on the green. Um, a lot of people aren't here just yet because it starts to travel for about 15 minutes. So we might try to delay and wait. Just down there is um, where we're going to be doing our singing from and the little service. But it's a shame that so many people aren't. But it's 12 till 6 here, this party. So a lot of people are coming down, getting at gazebas actually, because um, it might rain. We're hoping it doesn't rain. So we might try be sneaky and try to delay it until we get more people down um, or try to do something a bit later. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, because we really want to get the church known um, here and it's better when there's more and more people around. But it's great because the whole street is uh, closed. The last time that I came down here uh, was when we were discerning whether we were called down here and they had a street party like this. We were trying to do... My son... We tried to do an incognito visit and, and it was like this and uh, so it wasn't so incognito. But it did show us about the community and it was great. So, okay, so let's um, get ready. Let's get ready to uh, go and do our little service. So now we're going to come and uh, we're going to sing uh, this special hymn for, uh, written in honour of the Majesty on her Platinum Jubilee. There are some words... But if you want to listen to the words, all these words uh, that have been written in the hymn have been taken from speeches uh, or Christmas messages that the Queen herself has said. So he's just uh, rounded up what she said about her faith and her service. So please do listen to these words. much that was amazing we got so many kids on the stage as well who have come up impromptuly if that's a word uh, because they've been learning it in the school so thank you so much for coming and was it fun yes did you like it yeah was it lots of fun yes yes thank you so much for coming and being part of our community choir to kick off the queen's jubilee celebration it's so great to be with you to do so now if I can just call you all to attention we are now going to sing the national anthem and we're just going to sing the one verse because to be honest we all know the one verse <laughs> so can I ask you to stand to attention even the ones in the back yeah. as we sing the national anthem <laughs>
so much for joining us. It's been a great honour to start these celebrations and we just thank you from all at the parish church. It's going to be great to get to know you over the years to come do come and say hello uh, today. Um, when we start uh, having food together, we, we say a blessing over that. And I'm going to, my, going to get my daughter to say that because she's got a great one. So Eloisa, could you say a blessing as we come to eat our food? Well, we got God, thanks for the grub. <laughs> oh man, enjoy your afternoon everyone. So we're in the middle of the Jubilee celebrations. I forgot what he's doing, I just had to ask myself, what, what are we doing, what are we doing? It's so hectic, I've been around speaking to loads of people, having a um, great conversation, meet lots of people, we spoke to the local police, spoke to local councillors. Uh, so now we're going to walk through, we're going to walk through one end. So behind me is the stage that we was on before. And we're going to walk through, just get some of the atmosphere of what is going on. Uh, like everyone's here now. And we've got loads of people with marquees around us. Uh, they're going to set up with another band. They've got bands on throughout the day. Um, they've got face painting. And so uh, when we were looking at this job, um, we came down to one of these last September. And um, it was just, well, I think it's busier now. It's about 1,500 people here. And um, so there was uh, this face painting that was going on. My daughter wanted to get her face painted. And the queue was just as long as it is now. And so we um, we couldn't, and she left in such a bad, bad mood. So uh, watch out for the kids. Um, it's quite funny that everyone's like looking at the vicar who's doing this vlog. Um, so everyone's here having a good time. So they're doing a competition where they are. Um, they got the gazebo set up and best table competition. So they decorated. Everyone's down. They got the hats on. They have got their. Um, they're bunting up, they've got lots of alcohol, which is quite cool. Uh, <laughs> because it's relaxing, and, and we've got to realise this has been after COVID. So um, people are just coming together and doing that community. And we really haven't had the community for the last couple of years. Let me move this camera slightly different. So this is our tables. <laughs> so I've got people with my jokes looking at me, what are you doing? So I've got our tables here. Um, and obviously, this is a green behind us, and then it goes up. So, don't know if you saw my other video the other day about me speaking about me uh, coming to Chalfont St Giles as a vicar, uh, and where we are and where we live, uh, and the reading room bit is just up here. And actually, I'm just trying to see how we get up. Uh, got blown. Uh, I, I just got. Um, Blooms put at me. So okay, let's go. Let's go this way. Try to get free. Try to get free. Try to get free. Try to get free. Okay, let's take this. You can't actually get out. But so many people. I think I said before. But you think about 1,500 people here. A lot more than last time because we're going up further. So when we came as a family to Stone, uh, we there wasn't that many people here. Look behind me is the, getting down to the church. And so there's people coming up and down. So people are renting tables. Uh, and then lots of other people come down as well to enjoy. So uh, we've got everybody having their their lunch still, drinking and pub. Um, and now I'm going to walk away up. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to try to get to the other end. I think it's incredibly funny that uh, people think, um, why is there a vicar doing this? But that's what vicars do. Well, nowadays. So there's our lovely reading room on the other side. And so it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. So there's loads of atmosphere. And so up here, you still haven't got the, um, you can't hear the music. The music is right at the other end. But you've got loads of people. Um, and these are probably the best places, to be honest, because the toilets are just over there. And then, just so you can see where we are, cars parked strategically so there's my house just there and then we've got the party going all the way down there and um, all the way to the other end of the village and so many people just having a, a really good time and so, as I said what's really nice is because of coronavirus and because of everything that's happened the weather's kept off and everyone's come down and, and they're just really enjoying their time uh, here and, and this is uh, part of the parish. So I haven't been able to record because I've been speaking to so many people 
um, and there's so many little things going on. Oh look, here's my daughter. Say hello. And her friend. Come to see me. You're going to come with us? So we're going to walk back through. What do you want? Money. I don't have any money. <laughs> does, it, does it ever change? So she's asking. Do you have the keys so I can get some money out of my pocket? I don't have the keys. Mummy has some keys to the house. So she even wants the keys. If she can't get money out of my pocket, she gets money out of the house. So I haven't got the keys to the house. So we're going to walk back down. Um, so the atmosphere is pretty amazing. It's lovely having so many families here. Um, it's lovely that people come round and uh, just really enjoy what's going on. And it's great. It's a great opportunity for me as the local vicar or rector to come along and to be amongst so many people. I'm not going to get down there. I'm going to have to get out of here. I'm going to have to get down there. And there's some cool... Um, it's great, so there's, there's a cream thing there. You know right. um, So, as I walk through, as I walk back. Um, so, we're going to go back to the table. Look around, because there's so much going on. Uh, bunting and things like that. So, you're right. I'm going to head back to the table, find myself, you're right. Uh, I think people love this. They're going to have to get used to it because this is what I do and it's what I'm going to do. So uh, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to come into the church and I'm going to find where we can finish. Let's just walk down. So um, that's the Chalfant St Giles uh, Queen Jubilee celebration. Uh, just a bit of what's going on. A walk through. I'm going to finish this video now because I want to get back to... Um, Speaking to people, get to uh, know people. Uh, this has definitely helped as well. Go mingle with people. And I've been talking today about two people. Uh, people from the parish, people from the police, people from the local council, about you know us being back at the heart of the community as a church and, and where we see the church going and what we want to do. So um, those conversations are still to be had. And this is such an opportunity for us now um, to really put ourselves back out there saying, you know, we're, we're here and it's so exciting. So I'm going to sign off. Uh, also going to have another beer. And um, I will see you again soon because next week I go on a special uh, conference for the, all the clergy in Oxford. Uh, a couple of hours away, I'm going to go up on my bike and I'll take you on that journey as well. See you soon. Bye.